Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm gonna be doing another portrait today. Uh, this is one that I picked. This this wasn't requested or anything. Uh, we're gonna be doing Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. So um, let's just go ahead and get started. Got my paper. Oh, it looks like there's a little wrinkle in it. Um, that's okay. You know what? A little wrinkle here and there is uh, actually it's gonna bother me. I'll just get a new piece of paper. Yeah, that was gonna aggravate me the entire time. I was trying to play it cool, like it wasn't gonna bother me, but um, to be honest, I, I was just getting aggravated. All right, um, so let's go ahead and start. We're gonna start with our handy dandy pen. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, you know what? Um, I, also, I, I don't know what this thing is. And I've been, whoops. I've been trying to figure out like, uh, whoops, how did I flick it backwards? You know what, let's just, let's just get started. Um, so, there's his head right there. It's a nice, nice circle. Um, and he's got, I don't even know this facial expression. Like I, I know most, I know pretty much, you know, being an artist, I know pretty much every facial expression there is. Um, I know like happy, uh, sad, mad, uh, glad, uh, scared. Um, I don't know what this one is. His nose is like all wrinkled. It looks like he's maybe like looking at the sun. Like probably, or like a really bright light. Probably the sun's right there. There's like a little wrinkle right there. Yeah, this is a really, um, I don't even know this facial expression to be honest with you. Um, let's see. And um, yeah, so Dave Mustaine, like, Basically, the story with him was he was in Metallica at one one point, like, in the 80s. And, um, like, they were all friends and stuff, like, like him and the Metallica guys. And, like, they would, um, you know, like, do stuff that friends do. Like, they'd high-five all the time and they'd say, like, hey. And then they'd, like, hang out and, like, make music and stuff. And then one day... Uh, Dave Mustaine woke up. Well, they woke Dave Mustaine up because he was sleeping. And they said, um, you're out of the band. And he was like, what the heck? Are you, why? And they're like, we're just not friends anymore. Uh, we used to be friends and uh, now we're not. And Dave Mustaine was like, but what, why? And they're like, just get on a bus. Why don't you just get on a bus and get out of here? So Dave Mustaine like got on a bus, whoops. I made a mistake. That's all right, don't worry about it. Why is there hair? And look, it's smudging again. Look, always, <clears throat> always. So basically Dave Mustaine got on a bus and then like, he was like, that's all right. I'm uh, like, I'll just start my own band. Like it was pretty much all my songs anyway. It's totally fine. So then like he got an apartment Let's do his lips red. That's that's the color lips are. So he got an apartment, and uh, there was like this guy playing bass really loud above him. Oh, I didn't do that right. That's all right. He's holding a guitar, so let's. Uh, but I kind of did it backwards, so we're gonna have to improvise here. Um, so there's this guy playing bass like really loud, and he like went outside, and he's like, um, "Can you stop like sucking so much?" And, um, and then he's like, actually, if you're gonna suck so much, why don't you just be in a band with me and then like, I'll teach you how to be good. And I, he was like, okay. So they started a band and they're like, um, they were playing and stuff and they're like, you wanna, you wanna release um, like Killing Is My Business? And he's like, yeah, but let's, um, let's spend all our money on drugs first. So they spent all their money on drugs and then, um, then the record label was like, okay, um, where's the album? Where's the, we gave you a lot of money, where's the album? And they're like, oh yeah, we spent it on drugs on accident. And the record label was like, that's okay. Um, just, uh, just release the album anyway. So then they released the album and everyone was like, that's pretty good. It's like um, Metallica, but it's like a lot like better. And then they're like, all right, wanna release a better one now? 
I want to release peace cells and uh everyone in the band was like yeah sure why not so they did that and then again like everyone was like yeah this is good yeah you guys are really good and then um then they got this guy marty friedman in the band and he was like i'm gonna just like be the best guitarist that you guys have ever seen all right david was, was like all right that's cool but like don't try not to be better than me and marty was like i can't really help it i'm i'm like really really good and david was like all right that's fine Th this should this is fine for a while i'll be able to handle this and then um then what happened was uh like marty friedman uh i was like guys i like i love japanese people and they're like oh that's okay that's cool Jap and he's like no i mean like i want to be one like, I want to be in Japan. I want to be Japanese. And they're like, um, all right, well, if you do that, like, we could still maybe figure out how to make the band work and stuff. And he's like, oh, yeah, I love pop now, too. And I hate metal. And um, they were like, okay, yeah, you're out, of, you're out of the band. That's not good. That's, that's not good because we're a metal band. And then Marty Friedman was like, okay. And then Marty Friedman became Japanese. And he's still Japanese. But now he kind of likes metal again. And then, um, then basically right after that, Dave Mustaine fell asleep. And uh, he woke up. And he was like, I can't move my arm. And then he called his bandmates. He was like, hey guys, um, the band's done. And they're like, why? He was like, uh, I can't move my arm. And they're like, um, what do you mean? What do you mean you can't? And he's like, what did I just say? What the fuck did I just say? Can't move my arm. The band's done. And he slammed the phone. He hung up. He threw his phone out the window so they couldn't even call him back. And um, then like a couple of years later, he called them back and he's like, hey, I can move my arm again. And they're like, okay, cool. You want to start playing music again? He's like, yeah, sure. So then they started playing music again. And then like he loved firing guitarists. So he just kept doing that every album. He was like, he was really enjoying that part. And then, um, I mean, that's, yeah. Now they're, they're basically like, he's still doing that. He's still firing guitarists all the time. And their newest one, uh, Kiko from Angra. Uh, like he's still with them, but like he probably won't be there much longer. And uh, let's see. Go ahead and draw some nostrils. <clears throat> I mean, we're pretty much done here. I just wanted to give a quick backstory on Megadeth. I mean, that's really it. I guess we could do some more of the background. Yeah, that's basically it. Fuck off, Black. Fuck off! I hate when I flick my colored pencils and they don't, like, fuck off. You know what I mean? So, there he is. There's Dave Mustaine. Let's uh, compare it to the original real quick. There he is. There's Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. All right. Later, everyone.